Okay, how do you like my hair? I'm, I'm tying it already. <laughs> and I'm wearing a mask. I don't like it, but we're going around the neighborhood to drop off this because uh, we are missing our dog. Uh, she ran away yesterday because there was a lot of contractors working on the house and they didn't know there was a dog. They opened the gate. She, she likes to go out. So this time she didn't come back. So I, I'm assuming, hopefully, uh, whoever found her, they kept her. And uh, we're gonna try to put this on the mailboxes. Uh, if you can see, there's no telephone poles to put it at. <laughs> maybe in the tree. So maybe a tree, telephone pole, we'll see. All right, hope we find her. So we're driving around the neighborhood and asking people if they found our dog. So we went to this car wash just to outside our street and uh, people there were nice enough to keep an eye on the dog so we gave them these flyers too so uh, hopefully sure her name's Zoe hopefully we find her soon so we're, they're flyering and then trying to see if she's Giving a flyers to them too, and maybe she will give it to I don't know where she's at. So glad this, she's putting a sign. She's shy. <laughs> All right, thank you. Best little friend. And we used to go to, I'm a plumber, he used to go to every call with me every day, everywhere we went. He was my road dog. And uh, after about 10 years, he just got tired of going, so he just stayed in my bed, uh -huh. watched TV, and sleep all day, and wait for me to come home. And as soon as I come home, he's right there with me, and we go to sleep together every night. And my old lady was there, and he'd go back and forth, mm. back and forth. But I just can't even believe it. He just, he just yeah, I know. crushed me. So, we're out at 2 in the morning driving around right. because he wanted to drive around. I know. And I knew he wanted to see Michelle, and he went back to yeah, me. Yeah, I know. He went to her, and he went back to me, and then. And Give me yeah. a kiss and he died in my arm. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. So fucked his, up. his dog just died. Uh, All right. Anyway, anyway, thank you. We'll look for him. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I might give him. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been asking, you know, neighbors just pulling off and, you know, giving the flyers and hopefully they turn her in. And there was this company we gave a flyer and they said that they will send an email to all the employees so that would be good they took a picture and i'll send it okay so uh we got hungry we're gonna try this neighborhood restaurant it's pretty good i mean it's just you know hold the wall but chinese vietnamese and thai too what i like about it is you see how they have uh, all these uh, um, plants in their, in their walls so it's kind of a you know absorbs the energy and I like their chicken and green curry so this is what they have I like that one the green curry more like a Chinese Vietnamese Thai good. this is my Chicken, green curry, and my rice. I love it. I love how they prepare it. It's uh, fresh. Maybe you put your pet on here. So we posted on not on next door. And the funny thing, there's this website that found a dog named Zoe well actually that's they also lost their dog named Zoe kind of looks like her I thought it was her but it says lost so that means that's not her and so this is where we try to put our yep lost dog I do hope we find her so I got a call uh, somebody found her dog uh, I think they were running around the neighborhood and she followed them and yeah, etc. etc. 
I'll get the details later and when I find her how they found my number. I'm excited. What's her name? Zoe. Zoe. Zoe, Zoe. Oh, we found her. <laughs> Thank you so much. How, so how did you find my number? Um, so it's so funny. I uh, met, I ran into one of my friends in the apartment complex and said I found this dog and really? I'm trying to find a good home for it. Uh -huh. And he texted me this afternoon with a picture of the sign. And was yeah. That is your dog. Right? Yeah. Look, and she's back. She triggered something out. So I think the flyer already worked. The flyering worked. Because they found, I think the one who found my dog, uh, a friend of hers told her about the picture of flyer. I don't know how they found it, but it worked. Next door, or I put up a flyer and paw boost or something. There you go. So what happened with the dog is uh, some joggers from the neighborhood. They, uh, she followed the joggers from the neighborhood, and then uh, they took her in. And then uh, I think it stayed with her boyfriend because she has a dog, and they don't get along. And then um, I think one of her friends found our flyer, and she told him, and then she called me. So lesson learned: I'm going to PetSmart now to try to get a dog tag where we put the name and the number I'm still thinking if we should get a her chip but dog tag Diva, it should be in the collar not the leash okay then take put it on the collar put it on the collar uh, oh nice she has a tag already that's her tag So they found the flyer on the taco truck because I, you know, remember we put it there thanks to taco trucks. Okay, so since uh, the taco truck helped me find my dog because they found the picture that's posted on the taco truck, that's why they called me about tacos from them. So this is how an authentic taco looks like. See that? This is a pastor, it's like a split grilled pork, barbacoa, say like cheeks, and fajita. And it comes with a sauce and charro beans. Yep. I honestly don't know the difference between El Salvadorian tacos or Mexican tacos or any South American tacos. But they're all good. Look at that. Yeah. Oops. No, we don't need that. <laughs> 